The Target 12 investigators are digging for more information about a story we broke last week. The astonishing move of a nearly 1,200-pound nursing home patient that involved dozens of police officers, firefighters, medical personnel, and a crane. Robert Butler reached out to Target 12 to share his story, and only our cameras were there as he was transported off a deck at Bannister House in a specially equipped container. Tonight, he's in a state hospital, but we wanted to know more about his medical past and future. Target 12 investigator Walt Buteau is here now with the details. We're told this is a unique response to potentially help a patient with extraordinary medical needs. This metal shipping container was medically equipped to keep Robert Butler safe and stable as he was lifted down to a flatbed truck and then driven to Eleanor Slater State Hospital. No one would answer how much this seven-hour operation cost the state and the city of Providence. I can't do this alone. Butler had reached out to us in 2006 when he was trying to get a stomach operation. He called again two weeks ago after his bed at Bannister House broke. He lodged a number of complaints about the nursing home, including a claim that his diet was not restricted enough. Target 12 was able to talk briefly with Bannister House's director of nursing, and we asked whether or not Butler gained weight while in the care of the state licensed nonprofit. The question was not answered. We also asked about another claim by Butler. Was Butler left in his own waist after his bed broke? Director of nursing Jemima Tutu answered, that's not true. Butler told Target 12 he hoped he would get more help at Slater Hospital with what he called his addiction to food. But he also said he was apprehensive about going there. The I spokesperson for the Department of Health and Human Services tells us the state is confident about the treatment Butler will receive. The patient will be in very, very good care with the doctors at Eleanor Slater. Bannister House is currently in receivership with, according to court filings, more than $2 million in debt. But Reyes says Butler was moved because Bannister House was not equipped to meet his medical needs. We reached out to Butler after he was transported on Sunday and asked how he was doing. He answered in one word, awful. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. The Target 12 investigators are always looking to uncover news. If you want to send a tip or report government waste, call our tip line, 228-1763, or email us at target12 at wpri.com.